Mr. Woyongo said after requesting to see a copy of the so-called admission letter, he realized after critical examination that the letters bore the signature of COP Patrick Timbilla, who has been interdicted over a recruitment scandal that has hit the service. The Interior Minister said he immediately called the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Mohamed Al Hassan, to inquire about the matter, but the police chief apparently had no knowledge of any recruitment, confirming that the letters may be a scam. The Interior Minister revealed COP Timbela promised to look into the matter and how 35,000 Ghana cities came to be deposited into the Stambeck account. This thing started in December last year when I went home for the uh, Christmas holidays. Uh, a few people came over to me asking for assistance to be recruited into the Ghana Police Service. And I told them we were not recruiting people. We hadn't gotten the uh, authorization for recruitment. Absolutely. But then they were emphatic that some people were being recruited. Some people were giving letters. And, but they were paying some monies, 5,000 CDs, uh, before they were giving those letters. I wasn't convinced. So I challenged them to produce those letters. And I got about two, three of them to produce those letters. And when I examined the letter, I saw that the letters were allegedly signed by one COP Timbila. But what made me believe that these letters were forged letters. Because when you write a letter, you will sign, and then beneath you write your full name. Absolutely. The signature was beneath the name. Absolutely. Which was supposed to come before the name. <laughs> it was supposed to come before the name. <laughs> yeah. So I said, no. So I started smelling the rat. I said, no, this one. Uh, there's something suspicious about it. I called the IGP just for the confirmation. And he said, no, they were not recruiting. And I gave them all these details. And they were, <clears throat> excuse me, they were able to trace the bank account to uh, Spintex Road. And I understand there was about 58,000 Ghana cities in that account. So they put an embargo on it. Mr. Woyongo said he was even told that an arrest has been made in respect of the scum. According to the Interior Minister, C.O.P. Timbilla convinced him that efforts to arrest and prosecute more persons in the fraudulent recruitment was ongoing in earnest. I came back to Accra and about a month ago, we issued a press statement to that effect. My PRO is here. She will testify to this. We issued a, another press statement that there were people going around deceiving Ghanaians and collecting various sums of money with a pretense, in the pretense that they were going to get them recruited into the Ghana Police Service. So we we're cautioning people to be wary of these frosters. So I'm surprised that uh, after all these, people were still paying monies to unscrupulous people. Now, what is happening is that the police, they've arrested, arrested almost 50 people. About 50. Because they senior officers? No, 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 no. They are not police officers. Okay. They are civil civilians who have gone around duping their fellow civilians. On this same police recruitment? Yes, on this same police recruitment issue. Maybe there are one or two policemen who are implicated, but... You know, these are criminal offenses. This is a, this is a criminal offense. They are criminals. Absolutely. And they are supposed to be treated as criminals. And that's why about 50 of them are being arraigned before the law courts. And we will treating, they, will be treat, they will be treated as criminals. The law will have to take its course. 
whether you are a policeman or I, said, I called COP Timbula and he denied it. He denied it. He said, look, somebody had forged his signature. And he even drew my attention to the fact that if he was even going to sign that letter, he would have signed above his name, not beneath the name. You know, so uh, somebody just forged his name because he was in charge of administration. They just thought that in order to make it authentic, they should put his name there, you know. Honorable, you made mention of denying the fact that people have used his name with, with these um, letters and or let's say documents to other people. And um, the word denied, are, are you just trying to say that um, let's say there is a little bit of truth with it whereby he's denying the fact? No, 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 no. Okay. What I'm trying to say is that when I confronted him, he said, he had also heard about it, but it is not true. And in any case, if it is true, yeah. those they have arrested, they will, mention, they will mention his name. And if they mention his name, the law will also take his course. So there is, there is no problem with that. Uh, if he is denying and uh, there are people who are prepared to come and mention his name that he authorized the collection of the money, it's fine. Then he will also face the full rigors of the law.